if you have more than one silhouette machine but have never had them all up and running at the same time this video is for you you do need the business edition upgrade but it's totally worth every penny especially if you own more than one machine Today I'm going to be running the Cameo 5, the Cameo 4, and the Portrait 4 in order to make this amazing Valentine's Day explosion box. It is super cute. For those of you that are new around here, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success. Now there is a ton of information to cover today and a whole lot of fun. So let's do this. I bought this design from the Silhouette Design Store. In order to open it up onto a design mat, I can simply right click. It will bring this menu up and I can either open Rectangle Box or Merge Rectangle Box. I'm going to open it and that will bring it onto a brand new mat. I want to show you how it comes in. Now this is kind of a mess, but it's easy enough to sort out. This is the main part of your box, and over here is the lid. These are the smaller boxes that go inside, and these pieces are little decorative parts that can cover the sides. These pieces go with this part, these pieces with this part, and so on. Now to get it all sorted, you're going to need to right click and ungroup, and when you do that, you will see that the main piece and the decorative pieces are still grouped together. Now what I did with this is I took and ungrouped these further so that everything was separate, and then I cut the box piece out of one paper, and the decorative pieces out of a coordinating piece of paper. Now the whole point to this video was to show how I run different machines at one time. This is where I've started separating my cuts. Here is one piece of the box and little accent pieces and I've made myself a note that I want this cut out of the pink squirrel pattern on my Cameo 4. Over here I have the lid and another piece to the box, some decorative pieces, and I'm going to cut this out of the heart pattern on my Cameo 5. And I did this for all of the pieces, diagonal stripe on the Cameo 5, and then the last two I was able to cut out of letter size paper, so I'm cutting them on my portrait. Once you have all of your pages set up, you want to take a break from the computer and prepare your mats and load your machines. One of the most difficult things to me with these types of projects is picking out the coordinating papers. I think I've done an okay job, but we will have to see as we go along. Now, these 12 by 12 sheets came from Michael's. They are the Recollections Collection, and I believe the uh, letter size red is Recollections as well, but I am not positive on that. I do have each piece of paper on a mat already. I will be cutting the 12 by 12 pieces with my Cameo 4 and my Cameo 5, and I will be cutting the letter size with the portrait. I get a little bit overwhelmed when running more than one machine, so I like to have everything prepared before I actually start cutting. It takes a little bit more time with the prep, but you're going to save time on the actual cutting. We're ready to get our machines fired up and load the cutting mats. Now we're going to head back to the software and get them all running. Let's head right over to the sun panel. I already have my material set and the Cameo 4 selected. So for this one, I just need to hit send. The next step is to go back to your design screen, head over to the second design mat that you have going, go over to the send panel. Now this time I'm going to head down to this little icon and I am going to choose Cameo 5, then hit send. Two down, one to go. We're going to go back to our design page, head over to the third design mat, go to the send panel, click on the icon to choose the portrait 4, now you can see here that it does say unavailable and it may take a second or two for your machine to connect. That's okay. When it is connected, click on send, 
its end again. And now you have all three machines running for you at the same time. The noise is a bit much, but it's fun to watch all three of them going. You want to flip your mat over and peel the mat up away from your material, especially when you're working with cardstock so that it doesn't curl up on you. The next step is to sort all of the pieces that you've cut out. I know that this is the main part of my box. And these are decorations that I can use if I want. I can glue that to the outside so there's a little bit of a contrast. And these can go on the sides here. And these come in handy if you are not using double-sided paper. I have single-sided paper. So one side is decorative, the other side is white. So if I want, when I'm putting this together, I can put these on the white side and dress it up a bit. All of these pieces go with the main part of the box and this is my lid. This box goes next. Again these fit right on the sides here and you can make decorative pockets or leave them out. Totally up to you. It's just a nice way to add a little bit more decoration to the box. So it's the main box, then the second one, this is the third, and this is the inside box. Everything is sorted out and ready to be put together. I'm going to start with the main part of the box first. You want to go through and fold all of your score lines. And these hearts will fold in. like so and if you're putting the decorations on you just want to make sure that the score lines are going to line up properly just using a tape runner today This heart ended up a little bit wonky, I'm not sure why. Now if you want this to be a pocket, you can glue three sides. If you just want it to be decorative, you can glue all four down. I'm going to go with three in case I decide to make it a pocket. And now you can tuck something in here. These pockets are good for notes or gift cards, at least on the outer box, they're large enough. The smaller sides, I'm just going to go ahead and tape all the way around. Now this one is a little bit different. It was designed to create a pocket with the little flaps. And you can tuck a little decorative piece in behind there. I think that's kind of cute. I will go with that. Now, I want them pointing towards the outside, I think. Then we fold one over and the other one just glue along the bottom in case we want to tuck something in there. Now this one will set inside here. I'm going to get it lined up right, kind of 
fold it down, you can see where you're at. Give it a little press. I'm going to leave these out up here for now. I think the box turned out absolutely amazing. I love doing the explosion boxes and tucking cute little pictures or notes or gift cards inside. Perfect. If you are looking for more Valentine's Day ideas, you can go check out this video here where I show you how to create the Be Mine Valentine design. Now go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.